I want to catch it. Mm, no, I can't catch it. Be careful before touch it because box jellyfish is one of the highly poisonous and deadly animal. I think you already saw this three dimensional hologram video in YouTube. Today I am not focusing how to make it. Instead of I will explain you how does this three dimensional hologram video works that make with the smartphone. I will give you very easy geometrical explanation behind of this three dimensional hologram. If a light incident on a transparent medium, it may travel through the medium or it may absorb by the medium or the light may reflect from the surface of the medium. By using this reflection phenomenon, today we will make a very interesting three dimensional hologram and it looks pretty attractive. First let's see how it is looks like. Let me show you briefly how to make this three dimensional hologram by using your smartphone. At first take a thick and transparent plastic sheet. You have to cut this as like this tropism diagram. One side of this tropism should be 2 cm, another arm is 12 cm and height is 7 cm. You need 4 pieces of this tropism. They have to look similar size and shape. Now assemble them by score step. You should be careful, every edge should touch each other, a little gap can make problem. And finally it look like an upside down pyramid. Though pyramid has four, uh, three side and it has four side. Now what you have to do is go to YouTube by using your smartphone and search 3D hologram project. You can find a lot of them. Put your upside down pyramid onto the middle of the screen, play the video and look from on side of the pyramid. Wow, it looks simply amazing. It's time to explain how does it work. Look at the inclined surface of the transparent plastic and the phone screen and we have to calculate the angle in between them. Let's consider the angle is theta. If you carefully look at it, you can find a right angled triangle here. And this angle is theta. If we know the length of AB and BC then we can calculate the value of theta by using trigonometry. Look at carefully. We know the length of AB. It was the height of one piece of the tropism and it is 7 cm. So AB is equal to 7 cm. Now what is BC? To understand of BC, let's see front view of the smartphone. Hope you can remember that the long arm of the tropism is 12 cm and this small side is 2 cm. If you eliminate 12 minus 2, it is equal to 10 cm. That means this 10 cm is the distance, this part plus that length. See, they has the equal distance. So each of them have 10 over 2 is equal to 5 cm. That means BC is 5 cm. It's time to play with high school level uh, trigonometry. We have AB is 7 cm, BC is 5 cm. So cos theta is equal to BC over AB. I hope you can uh, remember these cosine rules from your high school. So theta is cos inverse BC over AB. If we put the value, then we can get uh, theta is 44.41 uh, degree that is equivalent to 45 degree. That means the transparent plastic sheet is placed at 45 degree angle on the uh, phone screen. Basic principle is if you place a mirror at 45 degree angle on any object, you can see its inverted reflected image on the mirror. Similar phenomenon happen here in this 3D screen. A part of light is traveled through the plastic sheet and rest of the light is reflected on its surface that we can see as a holographic image. You can see the same image from every corner. I have a question to you. What will happen if you use a perfect mirror instead of transparent plastic sheet? I believe you are smarter than me. Leave your comments and answer in the comment section of this video. I hope you enjoy my videos. Hit the subscribe button. See you on next Friday. Bye bye.